guys welcome back it's Roslyn again i'm so happy to be here thank you so much for um supporting me thank you for watching my videos and for those of you who have subscribed i really want to say thank you again i'll never stop thanking you that really means a lot to me and please continue sharing the videos um here yeah, today i'll be talking to you about um um self-care for nursing nursing is so hectic uh, it's so demanding, we're always on our feet, walking, you know, up and down. And uh, most nurses actually complain of burnout. So for me, I really want to uh, to, to avoid that, that, to avoid burnout. And I also want to give 100% to my patients. But how do I do that if I'm not looking after myself? If I'm the nurse standing up to work all the time, uh, tired, exhausted, you know, just doing the same thing, work home, work home, and you're not looking after yourself. So that's why today I'm going to talk to you about um, my self-care tips. Like what do I do to really look after myself so that I'm able to go back to work and continue maintaining a smile and working and looking after my patient and giving my whole to the patient. So I've got six um, things that I do uh, to help me uh, look after myself. So one of them is uh, healthy eating. I'm sure some of you have seen my videos uh, me making like healthy organic drinks and I don't eat healthy all the time like every time but at least I try to make sure that I've got healthy foods incorporated in my meals every day so I eat a lot of green leafy vegetables and then I make a lot of uh, organic healthy juices from like green uh, vegetables like kale or apple juice I mean from apples and make apple juice or organic oranges and make uh, oranges so it's just about that healthy eating um, that has really helped me feel more energized and when I'm going to work I am ready and it's good for my well-being as well um, you know one thing is that as nurses, because we're always busy, we don't even sometimes get time to have a drink, like to have a sip of water when you're at work. So if you don't have, if you don't get that, uh, I just want to encourage you to just get time and prepare your meals like at home. Prepare your meals like up front. Do two days uh, worth of your meals so you can take meals to work, healthy meals. And don't buy food please if you are to buy go for the healthy option and also try as much as possible to prepare meals from home they're more healthy um, than obviously getting something um, junk uh, to work so this healthy eating for me it's really kept me very well and going and energized the other thing is exercise guys i do um I try as much as possible to do three days of exercise in a week and that's it. And I'm not the kind of person who does um, um, who does strenuous exercise, which I can't even do because of my uh, medical history. I've had multiple surgeries, so I cannot do certain things, um, uh, certain exercises. So I try as much as possible to exercise and this is how I do it. Um, instead of me like dropping my kids uh, to school while driving, I walk with them. I know most of the time my kids me, now why do we have to walk? But it's for my benefit and for them as well. So if I've walked for 20 minutes taking them to school and then returning 20 minutes, that's 40 minutes in a day. And if I do that twice a week, that's enough. And then I also signed up for an exercise app online where I can either go live with them at a certain time or I just go tune in on TV at my own time in my living room or in my bedroom and I just do exercise less than 30 minutes and I am done. So I do what I can, I try as much as possible to do it. If I had, if I wasn't doing exercise, I don't know how I'd be looking like because yeah, life is not that easy, you know. I don't want to dwell so much into that but exercise is one thing that nurses you can do and uh, this has, I've really seen it that every time I've done exercise, I feel very energized, my feet get stronger and I'm ready to go. I I feel powered up to go to work so uh, exercising obviously if you can do your um your exercise for an hour or, you know it's okay for you but i do what my body can tolerate and that i uh, really i find that it's really um helping me with work as a nurse and the other thing is prayer and meditation uh for those of you who don't believe in prayer meditation would be probably the right thing for you to do but um with me every time i go for a shift let's say every morning i wake up i say prayer to god i'm just thanking for the day 
And every time I am going to work, I don't know why. Whenever I'm going to work, I'm doing a morning shift or evening or night shift. For some reason, I'm always praying in my car when I'm driving. So I pray to God and commit the day, my shift into his hands. And then I also commit my patients into God's hands. And I just ask God for a good day. That's all I ask for. I know it's so busy, but for some reason, I always manage my workload. Once I've prayed, I know for sure things are going to be yeah, not easy, but I'll manage them and I'll not stress. I'll not, you know, I'll not feel overwhelmed. I've had colleagues at work who ask me, even manage to stay composed amidst, amidst all this. Like, you know, sometimes it's so busy. Everybody's just running. I am running up and down, but I'm still composed. Why? Because I have prayed to God and he's looking after me and my passion. So prayer and meditation is one thing nurses should do. And you know, for me at, uh, at my workplace, we've got a chapel in the hospital. So sometimes when I feel so overwhelmed um, and then during my break, I go to the chapel two minutes, five minutes, and I'm just, you know, I pray and I come back to the world and I'm so calm and so happy and ready, you know, to work. So the other thing that I also do is uh, really spoiling myself. I, <laughs> this is my favorite one. And my favorite one in spoiling myself is travel. But the thing that I do when I'm, intending to spoil myself is that I can do a manicure, pedicure, or just buying something that I really want. It doesn't matter how much it costs. As long as I can afford it, I'll buy it. And that brings me happiness, gives me more energy and, you know, uh, and the art to go back to work. Because I know that the more I work, if I am at work, this is where I get the money to go and, you know, spoil myself. So I buy something like very nice that I want or go for a massage or, um, go for uh, the sauna or just do something that really makes me happy but my passion is in trouble try as much as possible to do it frequently so when i have my three or four days off and uh, i plan ahead anyway i look at places and i do things really actually on discount like people look at me places that i go to and they think um it might be expensive but it's not that expensive it's something affordable that i go for and then when i travel i make sure that i get a beautiful hotel i get to do a lot of activities that really help me pamper myself and i go to a place which is better than my house just to you know to break that monotony and i tell you the truth when i come back home and go back to work I am ready to work. I am not exhausted because I've had a good rest. I have done a lot of things that have made me happy and rejuvenated and I'm happy and ready to give my patients 100% of care. Um, so yeah, traveling is really one thing that I do more often. So uh, that's, the, that's it, spoiling yourself, giving yourself a treat is something nurses really have to do because we, otherwise you're gonna burn out and you won't be able to go back to work. I mean, it's good to save money. I save money, I put a small bit aside and then the other bit, I'm like, as long as we have food in the house, then we go travel, it helps me uh, really appreciate life. So I just want to encourage all of you nurses to pray, please, please, please do a lot of self care. Just pick out one thing that you really love doing and do it um, uh, for your own good. And the other thing that I also uh, do is spending time with my family and friends. I've got a lot of friends in the community here um, who almost share the same interests with me. You know, sometimes we just uh, decide to go for a drink with girlfriends or go for massage or do our nails with girlfriends or we decide sometimes and we all have kids you know we're all married and have kids and then we decide to leave husbands with the kids uh behind and then we travel like interstate go do our thing for days and then come back and the guys also do the same thing or sometimes we do it with uh, as family but with this hanging out with friends, we don't even like plan most of the time. It's just like when I come back from work on a Saturday, I've done my Saturday morning shift and I'm done at 3 o'clock or 3.30. I come back home and bang, somebody maybe just walks into my house and we, oh, I call a friend, what are you doing this afternoon? And then we just catch up and just sitting down and having a laugh and chatting with friends and family. It's so beautiful. It helps me really like uh, forget about the hectic day I've had or forget about whatever stress I've gone through. It's just something so relaxing. And I know some people don't have uh, family here, but if you have friends, just catch up with friends. One or two friends 
are enough just go for coffee or go for a good drink um go for go do some activities like massage or catch up at home and and just do things that make you happy i know sometimes i come back from work and i'm feeling exhausted yes i can lie down for like 30 minutes just to give my body that rest but i what brings me happiness and helps me relax is being with family and friends like that look after yourself nurses before you look after other people because if you're not if you're not strong enough if you're not prepared if you're not ready you are not going to give this patient a hundred percent and that's how uh, sometimes we make mistakes because we are very exhausted we very frustrated we're not looking after ourselves then we end up making mistakes which we don't want to do so nurses you have the capacity to do that to look after yourself and the other thing after all that all those tips what i encourage all nurses to do is to learn how to switch off their work worries don't bring work home whatever's happened at work whatever hectic day you've had whatever frustration you've had if you've been uh, affected like emotionally because i know that sometimes we get so attached with our patients and if anything happens to them we worry we stress but try not to bring that um that your work home try to forget about it um and uh you know come back next time and it helps me is all those things that i've told you all the other five things like spoiling myself spending time with family and friends uh healthy eating exercise and prayer those are things that help me all together to switch up my work worries so guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and share the video and leave a comment for me if you have any but otherwise i'll see you next time thank you bye